okay with you, right? How you? Uh, yeah, you sure. Record? Okay. Okay, so the recording has started. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, thank you for giving me the chance to speak. So yeah. So today I'll tell you a little bit about uh, the full ensemble hall effect. So. So here's the outline. So I want to first. Uh, uh, review some of the relevant uh, experiments in cuprates and uh, as well as some some some, some RDS series about about the thermal hall effect, and then I will move on to discuss uh, the, the, the 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 mechanism for for the phonon being 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 chiral, which is the the phonon hall viscosity. And next, then I will talk about how how does the phonon hall for phonon phonon hall viscosity can 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 through various mechanisms to give rise to the thermal hall effect. Right. Uh, yeah, so the thermal Hall effect uh, by its definition is very similar to the usual charge Hall effect. It's basically like uh, you, 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 you run a current in, in one direction and then you will, you will, you will see that there is a, 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 a gradient of force in, in the other direction. So for a thermal Hall effect case, it's just you say so you are running the heat current in this X, X axis, then you will and you have a magnetic field in the z-axis, you will see some uh, temperature gradient in, in, in the y-axis. So the thermal Hall effect is uh, useful because it can it can couple to some 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 some, some, degree, some degree of freedom that, that, that cannot be probed by, by by electrical probes. For example, some 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 excitations that are neutral, but they, they are somehow became uh, become topological, and you can you can probe it with some kind of a thermal Hall signals. Right, so the experiment that I want to introduce uh, today, the, the first one is the, 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 I think it's the earliest one, which, uh, it, which uh, uh, excites the whole community is this uh, experiment done by, by, by Gail Grishanel and in Louis Talib's group. And, and we are where they, they measure the thermal Hall effect in coup rates. So, so yeah, they are basically looking at coup rates at the various dopings and then they, and then they try to measure the thermal Hall effect uh, down down to low temperatures, and and, uh, and what's interesting here is that as, as you see when 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 uh, when we start from from some, some high dopings where the cuprate physics is more or less from liquid like the the, the thermal Hall signal was uh, was well, the cap X Y is, is positive, so here the sign of cap X Y is actually defined uh, uh, you using the you, by 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 the Wittemann friends law. Is defined uh, uh, with respect to sigma x y. So that means that when when you are high doping, the 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 kappa x y has the same sign as sigma x y. So it's uh, more or less uh, given by the Wittmann friends law. But uh, as you see, uh, as you, you you lower the temperature and, and lower the dopings, the the kappa x y will 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 will, will, will exactly become a smaller and smaller, and it it, it, it changes sign. Right, so 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 this, so so this is the first thing interesting thing about this experiment is that the kappa x y will change the sign as small doping when we go into the to the anti ferromagnetic region. And right, and the second interesting factor is that if you look look look, look at the magnitude of this thermal Hall effect, uh, so so on the left hand side is the S S I units, but on the right hand side is uh, it, it's uh, plotted in the natural units. So in terms of uh, Planck constants, temperatures, and and uh, and 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 and, 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 and Boltzmann constants. As you see uh, in the natural units, the this thermal Hall effect uh, is actually of, of order one. So th this is also very unusual because uh, you, you in in usual materials, the the magnitude of this thermal Hall conductivity is so uh, is very small. It's like at order of so ten to the minus three to ten to the minus four. But here it's a uh, it's very large. It can go to order one. Uh, how you? Yes. Evangen here, um, just a quick question. So um, what was the statement regarding William and Franz? So at overdoping, uh, for overdoped samples, it is satisfied at low temperatures, but then as you approach uh, half filling, you see an enormous violation? Because, yes, yes. Okay, yes. and at what point do you see onset of that violation? Uh, I, I was, okay, let's go to the next slide. So it's uh, like here. Uh, so yeah, so yeah, this what I talk about next is that uh, so here this this also from from, from Louis Talibus paper and uh, so what here they are, they are plotting the sigma x y uh, together with kappa x y, 
and then uh, uh, compare it. So you can see that uh, it's uh, so it's uh, satisfied at the high temperature and uh, and at uh, high doping. Mm -hmm. Right. And uh, at what doping do you see? Uh... Uh, yeah, so the violation starts uh, pretty much when you are below the critical doping to start. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, thanks. Yeah, so, right, so, okay, let me continue. So, right, so here are some data slides for various dopings. So you see, for example, when you are have some high dopings, it's uh, so it's uh, a high temperature. It's kind of a set by the William Friends law, but if you go to low temperature, it also becomes negative. And then if you are near the insulator region, you you see there it's an insulator, so there's no charge flow effect. But then the the cap XY is still still kind of a uh, uh, negative. Right, so. So from from those experiments, we can see that the so uh, we see that the 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 cap x y has has the has, has the, the, the the opposite sign to sigma x y. So basically, means that the, the, this mysterious uh, charge carrier, uh, the, this mysterious heat carrier is not charged, and uh, also it 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 uh, it appears outside of the the anti-ferromagnetic region. So it's 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 probably not not magnons. Because uh, when you are when you're outside of anaphromatic, there's no soft magnets, and so so the, the the our first guess to this problem was like a, it could be some kind of a emergent excitations in the or, or or it can be just be phonons. And uh, at the, at, and then at the point of that paper, so it did this was that was the earliest one. So so they they so they based on various evidences, we saw that it might not be phonons. So so we with our first guess of this problem was to to look to look at some some, some emergent excitations in the cuprates. So right. So basically, what we had was some kind of uh, spin liquid theory for the uh, on the on the, on the, on a square lattice. So we have the usual uh, exchange cu couplings, which has the uh, nearest neighbor and the next nearest neighbor couplings, and then to 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 study the effect of the magnetic field, we added. A, Two terms. So the first term is this uh, SI dot SJ uh, cross SK term, which is called uh, the, the spin chiralty term. And then the second term is just the, the Z minus factor of the of the external magnetic field. So so the the phase diagram of this theory is the following. So it turns out that there this J chi turns out to be some dangerously uh, irre irrelevant. Uh, Operator that uh, at some at some point it can it can it can it can it can, it can, it can drive the system into a into a into a a, 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 a chiral spin liquid with the, with with uh, with a semi topological order. And then so the idea here is that uh, so basically we are we are we're imagining that our, that our the the real physical system is sitting somewhere like here. Then it's it's it, it, it's well it's very close to the to the phase transition. And then the 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 the, the, the proximity to, to this uh, phase phase transition can can actually induce a a, a pretty large small hole effect, right? So, right. So we started the theory using some um, um, part of mean field theory. So basically, just fractionalize the spins into fermionic spin-offs, and then put them to them in some backgrounds like the following. And then you can you can you can start you can start you can start the the the, the, the band topology of the of this spin loss. So so right so basically it turns out that uh, so here the, the 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 nature of the transition is just uh, is the as, as long as uh, as long as you 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 go you 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 as long as you you go across the phase transition the 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 the, the two lower spin loss bands will touch each other and their and their chain number will. Will get will get changed, and then and then so and then when 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 this uh, chain number of the spin on band changed, then then because at 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 at, at the low energy the at the low temperature the thermal effect factor is also is also uh, approximately pro proportional to the chain number, so 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 here the the change of the the change of the chain number can 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 explain why why the thermal effect also changed. 
uh, right. And then, and here, the, 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 the critical theory of this phase transition, uh, uh, one, so it, so, so, so one, one version of this critical theory is the so-called uh, uh, SU2 minus one half theory. So it's a, it's a theory with, uh, with, a, with a single uh, SU2 direct formula. Uh, they, are, they, are, they are coupled to a, to a SU2 Chen Simon dispute at the level minus one half. So here, this now level is minus one half, it comes, it comes from uh, 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 integrating out these the, the, the heavy bands of the of the upper spin on band, and then as we know that when we integrate out the direct formula into into plus one d, the transaction level is not quantized. It's a it's a it's one half or minus one half, right? And then uh, also what, what, uh, as a side remark, I would mention that the, the, this series is the one corner of 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 a, of a famous uh, a, 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 a quadrality of a conformal field series that that that. That the series that appears here can 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 be related to the three other series by by some by some by some by some uh, duality transformations. Uh, right. So 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 this series is the series for the insulator phase, and then and then for uh, the. I just have a quick question. In a couple of slides ago, you had the phase diagram. Uh, what happens when? Uh, the Zeeman field is non-zero, so the previous slide. Yeah, so here it's when Zeeman field is zero. I think here it's uh, it's where the, the, when, when the Zeeman field is non-zero. Uh, for example, so here, this 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 T2, yeah, we, we don't have that slide in uh, the phase diagram in our paper, so I think, uh, right, so when you have a non-zero Zeeman field, the, 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 the new order then will get larger, I remember, and uh, so, Right, so here in this phase diagram, what we are have, what we are tuning is like a T T two and a Z man field, and then the 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 the, the T two hopping is the is the amplitude of the time reversal symmetry breaking, and then yeah B Z just a Z man field, and then and then you you can consider uh crossing the 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 crossing this uh phase boundary in many different ways, and then you, yeah. How you can we go back to the original spin model? Yes. Yeah. So um, if I were to just take this model literally, um, can you give me some estimate of how big J chi needs to be in order to explain the magnitude observed in the data for the kappa x y? Uh, yeah. Okay. So uh, so we are not. Uh... Yeah, so here J chi can actually be very small. So I think uh, the idea is that, uh, right. So I think there are some numerical studies of this model, which shows that a uh, uh, very tiny J chi, like, uh, like a uh, 10 to the minus third times a, or at the order of a 10 to the minus third J1 can actually, uh, can actually is uh, sufficient to, 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 to induce a chiral spin liquid. So, Mm -hmm. So we will see that the, the so basically uh, because J chi is somehow a, a dangerously irrelevant operator, so the 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 phase boundary here is actually is a it, it's a parabola like. Mm -hmm. So that means that when as as long as you as long as the the, the value of J two is somewhat close to this critical point, the the required J chi can be very small. But, uh, but 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 we don't we don't have a number here. And uh, I don't know if you're going to ever mention this, but you know there were um, almost simultaneous experiments by Kamran Benia's group on barium titanate, also reporting um, very uh, an enormous kappa x y or giant kappa x y. Uh, do you know about this or? Uh, I guess I don't know about it's like this. Like fail parallel anyway. Okay. We were mostly thinking about purpose. Okay, never mind. Uh, right, uh, okay, yeah, so yeah, that, that's the so so this SU2 uh, level minus one half is for the insulator. And then in the in the pseudo gap uh, region, we 
we use something uh, more, uh, we use a different theory that says uh, we, we consider the, we consider the, the system as consistent of fermionic charge ions and the, and the, and the, and the, and the bosonic spin loss. And then, so we are, we are more or less uh, focusing on, on the fermionic charge ions, which, uh, which are uh, coupled to emergent gauge fields, uh, uh, emergent U1 gauge field as well as the, uh, the, the external uh, ele electromagnetic field. So, so right. So here, the 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 charge ions here, they, they form a Fermi surface. So, so for the for the for the fermionic contribution to the to to the transporter, we can just use the you use the the the, the usual uh, the, the 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 free fermion physics more or less. So the the Hall effect is the the, the charge Hall effect is the conventional one, and the the thermal Hall effect of the, of this uh, uh, charge ions can just be be related to charge Hall effect by by Wittmann friends law. And then, uh, as uh, as we will see later, what turns out to be trivial in this whole story is the is uh, is, is, is this uh, is, is this uh, emergent gauge, gauge field A. So, so basically, the, 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 when we we'll integrate out those charges and 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 the, and the spin loss, so the, we will see that the the, the, the well, sorry when we integrate out the the, the, the spin loss, the, the the effective theory you get for this emergent gauge field is a is a Maxwell Chen Simon theory. So basically, the, the action of the of the emergent gauge field is that you have a Maxwell term here, and then there, there is a there, there is a Chen Simon term. So I'll, I'll uh, excuse me, I, I missed this. What is what is p? The p is the plus minus one. There are the the, the charges of those charges. Oh oh, sorry, I missed that. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay, uh, right. So yeah, so yeah, so as our the, the, as our first theory to this problem, the, uh, the our proposed solution is that this uh, this uh, negative uh, thermal Hall signal is actually due due to the the emergent uh, the, 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 the the emergent gauge field. So so uh, so to to explain this uh, intuitively, we can think of the uh, the like, we can think can think of it like uh, the following: this is the Henry in picture is that. Uh, the, you, you can you can suppose that those those uh, uh there is so so, so first uh, you 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 get some uh, from your only contribution to this uh, thermal Hall effect uh, which which uh, which 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 actually satisfies the Wittmann friends law. But then uh, and then you can you can imagine that uh, imagine that this uh, this contribution from those fermions are, are kind of like some 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 edge modes they are move, moving at the edge of the sample. But then the, the emergent gauge, gauge fields that, that appears here will will will. will we we'll, 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 we'll just like uh, get out the sum of this uh, fermion, uh, fermionic edge modes, and then it, it, it will uh, produce a, a negative contribution to this uh, thermal Hall effect. Um, how you may I ask? Uh, so in the previous slides, I I, I just want to make sure that uh, you are not assuming sigma x y to be quantized. You just imagine there are some uh, sigma x y and hmm? uh, it's, it's not quantized. Okay, so you're just imagining that it's in some liquid phase, but you integrate them out and then yeah, uh, but and for, yeah, and for what I will talk about next, I guess it's not that important that, that it's quantized. All right. Okay. Thank you. Uh, right. Uh, uh, right. So. So more, more formally, this uh, this uh, negative type X Y physics can actually come from the so-called uh, the, the, the 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 framing uh, the framing anomaly of the Chen Simon sketch series. So it's uh, it's first studied by by by, by Witten and uh, so basically the, the story is that if you just just, just take the say the following the, the following uh, uh, Maxwell uh, Chen Simon theory, and then you you try to you try to uh, consider how uh, you, you, and then you, you 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 and then you 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 couple these gauge fields to 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 some to some to some to some uh, background geometry, and then you integrate out those gauge fields, and uh, and uh, 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 what you will get is a gravitational Chen Simon's term, with a with a with 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 a with a a a chiral center charge C that's given by this formula here, and. Right, and then, 
and then and then the the, the 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 contribution of our work is that we, we also we, we also took this theory and uh, 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 and, and computed its contribution to, to this thermal Hall effect. And it turns out that the thermal Hall effect is also is also uh, is also uh, proportional to to, to the to the to the chiral center charge, uh, which is which is uh, at, at at low temperature is given by by a formula like this. So. So here, this situation is a little bit different from the from the usual from the usual charge Hall effect because for charge Hall effect, the uh, when you when you see that the 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 the, the, the effective series, uh, say it's it's a it's a Chen Simon theory of some U one gauge field, you can you can see that there there there, there is so some 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 it quantizes the Hall effect. But 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 this is not the case for for this uh, for this uh, gravitational Chen Simon's term. Because uh, if 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 you if you look at the number of of of, of, of gradients in this term, it, it actually contains three gradients. Uh, that means that if you if you if you treat it as some kind of a, uh, what I want to say is that uh, right. So for the is that uh, for, for 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 just having the the the, the, the gravitational transmittance strength doesn't guarantee you have uh, any transport signal because the, the gravitational transmittance strength has uh, ha has three gradients. And then, and then, and then, and then, if you apply the Kubo formula to it, you get zero. So the the somehow effect that actually require a separate uh, calculation at, at the finite temperature. But yeah, it turns out that the the the, 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 the so in terms of Feynman diagrams, it's like the the, the they, they, they 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 come from the same Feynman diagrams, but the but the, but the kappa x y comes from the finite temperature part, and the, the gravitational transmission term comes from the zero temperature part. Yeah, so, so yeah, let me go back to the theory for the insulators and uh, uh, which is a SU2 gauge theory. And then let's just consider taking some large K and, 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 a, and a large flavor limit of this theory by keeping K and the flavor, the ratio of K and F fixed. Then we can perform this calculation uh, of this somehow Hall effect. And then what we found is the following. So. So we we look at the, the leading order in large n and then the, the next order at large n and then they 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 they, they have a very nice uh, interpretations. So the, the leading order thing in large k is just the the, the it's just the, the contribution from those fermions, and then the and then the, the the next order term can can be interpreted as the, the framing anomaly contribution of this of, of this transmission gauge field. So as you see, we're, as as long as we were dealing with SU two, the the and then then you just take take the limit where this uh, uh, where this k hat is one, then you can say that the, the second term is actually larger than the first term, so the kappa x y can can actually be connected. Yeah, so far everything seems pretty nice because we so this theory hat can can it's uh, it, uh, it explains why kappa x y can be negative and it also has the uh, it also has the same same order of magnitude as the experiment, uh, up to a factor of two. But uh, right, as some of you may know that the, the later this series turns out to be not that good because uh, there there are there there are some some, some new new experiments then, which prove that this is actually due to Fulmont. Actually, uh, how you may I ask about the previous slides first yeah. before we go on? So let me just make sure the the gauge field are still U one, right? Or it's, it's SU2, but oh, uh, it's SU2. Okay, explicit. Then, okay, all right. Then, then, then. So that's why there's a three here. Right. Okay. I was wondering. I thought it was still you. But okay. Then there will be no problem. Yeah. But then it just turns out that they, in this large K limit, they, 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 they just decouple into three U ones. Yeah, that would be fine. But you know, otherwise it would be strange to have this three K divided by K plus two combination. <laughs> that's very specific to SU2. Yeah. Yeah. yeah indeed, two is SU2. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Yeah. So right. Let me yeah. Then let me discuss the experiment. The the, the newer experiment in, from Louis Talavis group, where they, they show that this thing is actually bonus. So what they do is the following. They 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 try to they 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 they, they try to run run the uh, run the current and 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 the, and the magnetic field in a different direction. So in in the in the, in the original experiment, they they were. They were running the current in the in, in the in the a axis of the group rate, 
and then now they just uh, flip, flip the crystal and, and run, run the current in the C axis. So as it turns out that if uh, if you if you look at the sum hole response, which is a kappa x y and the kappa c y in in in, the, in these two data respectively, and then you just can compare the result, the their their result is there 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 is a very, very interesting result. If you if you look at the case the case of of a very low doping, say for example, if, if you look at an insulator case where you know that there is no electronic freedom. Uh, then it's uh, you see that it kappa zy is, is almost the same as kappa xy. Uh, if you go to some higher dopings, but 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 still below the, the critical doping, the, then you see that kappa xy and kappa zy still still have the same trend. Then the kappa xy is slightly larger. You can understand it as sometimes there is some electronic uh, contribution to kappa xy, but not to kappa zy because uh, the electrons can only can move, only move in the, in the xy plane. Then as, as you as you as you go above the critical doping, you can see that uh, there there is a uh, still kind of X Y which uh, which uh, presumably is just uh, due due to due to electrons from Whitman Friends law, but but there is no kappa Z Y anymore. So 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 for for this experiment, uh, we we know that there there that. This uh, this strange sum of mechanism can can also can the heat carriers can also move in the z direction. So, so but we know that uh, uh, the 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 Cooper physics is very much a two D like. So the electrons in this theory is uh, can 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 it can only move in the Cooper plane. The 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 the, the, the interplane coupling is uh, relatively weak. So, but uh, then only phonons can move in the z directions. So. So it turns out that uh, this experiment uh, basically concludes that uh, this is the phonons that contributes to the thermal Hall effect. So, right. So, so what we need next is some 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 some, some effective theory of this uh, acoustic phonons that that that, that ha has a time reversal symmetry breaking, and therefore can have a Hall effect. So. For simplicity, for for the rest of the talk, I'll, I'll be only focusing on kappa x y and forget about kappa z y, uh, because we don't we don't have a very good 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 uh, mechanism for explaining a, a non-zero kappa z y. Right. So. So right. So it turns out that the, the leading order, the the time reversal breaking term for for those uh, for the for those. Uh, uh, acoustic phonons are are the so-called phonon Hall viscosity term, which is uh, written here. So it's the it's the leading order term which breaks the Tatar Russell symmetry in the effective field theory sense. So so right so it's here this uh, eta there there are there are so right now there are two two different terms for which are called uh, the, the the Hall viscosity eta h and eta m the couple of different terms which are so this u u x x is, is is the string tensor of the of the phonon field, and this m x y is the vorticity tensor. So so I'm not going to talk talk about how 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 uh, in detail how 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 can how can you uh, how can you get this uh, phonon phonon uh, phonon how is got the uh, from some from some from some microscopic calculation. So I I I I I will just point you to the to the following paper in, in from our group. So so basically what they what they did is to they 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 they, they took the, the spring legacy theory that, that I have mentioned before and they 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 they, they just uh, uh couple this theory to, to these phonons and and then you you, you and then and then next you just uh, integrate all the electrons and then you you can you can uh, get a term. You can get a non-zero uh, phonon Hall viscosity, right? So next, what I will talk about is that so is the the next part of the problem is that suppose you have some kind of a phonon Hall viscosity which breaks the time reversal symmetry, and uh, and then what kind well, what kind of thermal Hall effect that you can you can get from from this mechanism from from this term, right? So the so our approach to this problem is uh, more uh, more or less uh, conventional. It's uh, based just based on the phonon uh, phonon Boltzmann equation, and so on the left hand side is the it's the transport term of the phonon. On the right hand side, the collision term. And 
And right now, uh, as our bias understand, as our as uh, we understand, there are are three different mechanisms that that this uh, uh, full hole viscosity can can can, can contribute to the to the thermal hole effect. So the fact, so the first mechanism is on the left hand side is the the middle one as the as well as the charge hole effect uh, is the uh, is the anomalous uh, velocity term VA. So it's just it's just a uh, due to the the, the, the very curvature of the phonon band, and then uh, and as we know that the, the very curvature and yeah, this mechanism is, is is more or less topological. It doesn't care about uh, the geometry of your sample. It doesn't care about whether you have impurities or not. So it's uh the, it's this the it's the it's called the uh, intrinsic thermal Hall effect. And uh, on the right hand side, in the collision term, there there are there 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 are, are two two different uh, mechanisms. So the first one is called uh, the, the the side jump contribution. Uh, that I'll, that I'll, I'll introduce later. And then the, the third mechanism is called screw scattering. It's uh it's the yeah it is, it's our new new contribution to this subject. So the the screw scattering basically means the 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 the, 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 the scattering rate of the phonons from from state L to L prime is not the same as as the time reversal process from L to L prime. So uh, because because the, these two contributions here they actually depend on the how high you scatter on the, on those uh, on the impurities. So it's uh, called the uh, uh, extrinsic uh, contribution. Um, also, I want to mention that the, 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 the similar framework has has been a, has been uh, very successful in studying the the the, the, uh, the anomalous Hall effect in, in graphene. So, we, which is done in, the, in this paper here. So, actually, what they did is that they they, they compared the two different techniques. The one is this is this one from uh, from the Boltzmann equation, and the second one is just, just to look at all these Feynman diagrams. And they, they found that the 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 result actually uh, agree perfectly. So 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 therefore so and therefore and th and also this, this calculation is more or less uh, just based on some some, some quasi particle concept. And here we are assuming that the photons are also are also uh, are still well defined quasi particles. So therefore, uh, we wish it, we we the, our, our 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 expectation is that. Uh, uh, since, since this mapping work for electrons, it, it should also work for phonons. So we will just go with the simple approach, which is the Boltzmann approach. Um, hi, uh, sorry, I, I missed this. Oh, sorry, Jamin. Go, go ahead, Daman. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, I, I missed this. Uh, what's the origin of the skew scattering here? Yeah, the origin is also from the from the the phonon hole viscosity. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah and we are just uh, yeah we are just taking some. Usual uh, charge neutral, uh, uh, charge neutral, in, 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 uh, charge neutral in, in, in impurities, which couples to phonons, and then uh, and then uh, and then we we assume all the all the time was breaking come, comes from the comes from the phonon hole viscosity. Um, I guess I'm missing. I mean, is there is this just a postulate, or is there any other indirect evidence for this, or? <laughs> Yeah, this so far is uh, it's a, it's a more or less our postulate because, uh, right, because uh, as the experiment has identified that, that the heat carrier is a phonon, then you will just uh, think about, uh, we are just thinking of in terms of the effective theory of phonons. Then you, there's a whole effect, so this phonon has time reversal breaking. Then the leading order term is this phonon whole viscosity. Right, but are you going to maybe comment on or speculate on at the end what could be causing this uh, whole viscosity for the phonons, or uh, is that an open-ended uh, question? Yeah, I think uh, we have a there is a separate paper from our group that uh, actually calculate this. Uh, say when you couple this uh, four phonons to, to the Spinnaker theory that I've mentioned before, so the time was all breaking can can actually be be, be passed from electron to phonons. But, but I mean, if this were to be the case, wouldn't you detect all of this stuff in other probes, like the time reversal symmetry breaking? At the same temperature where we start seeing the kappa xy. Okay, that's a, okay. this is a separate conversation. I don't want to derail you. Um, yeah, but uh, right, but in this context, well, it's more or less like a, 
a little bit tricky. It's like that uh, you still have some, you already have some external magnetic field there. So why the it's uh, a time reversal is broken from the first place and then we are just uh, looking for some some ways to 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 to, to actually uh, touch to, to actually de 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 describe the effect in terms of full noise. Right, but the effect is much stronger than the small fields one has applied. So, um, yeah, anyway, okay. Yeah, actually, I was going to ask about this very quickly. So the side jump is presumably also something in I, uh, and could you? In the collision, yeah, yeah I'll, I'll talk about this later. Oh, you would talk about it. Okay, thank you. All right. Great. Uh, right, so uh, let me first uh, briefly talk about the intrinsic contribution, which uh, as the, its calculation has been well, uh, well established in the following papers. Right, and uh, so it's basically it's just uh, integrating, integrating over the, 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 the phonon barrier curvature with, 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 some, with some weights. So for, so uh, for, if you just apply it to, to, to this problem with uh, with a phone also with uh, some hole, with a phone hole with Gosti, the scaling is like it's proportional to eta. Uh, to, to we were, we are, we are looking at just linear order in eta, right? So it's proportional to eta times time, time to t to the d, where 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 d is is the is, uh, is the, the, the the spatial dimension. So it's either two or three. Right. Uh, yeah. Okay. Then let me also talk about the side jump contribution. So, so what's called a side jump is that uh, you during the so so when 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 we were uh, thinking about uh, uh, the, the scattering in quantum mechanics, we we usually just thought of that uh, at 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 at, at, at the instance of the scattering, only, only the momentum of the particle get changed, but uh, but uh, but uh, but because the time is shorter, the the, the the position of the particle it, it, it doesn't move. But that turns out to be incorrect, to, to be incorrect when 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 when. When this particle is, 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 is coupled to some barrier curvatures, so basically there uh, it's also started in this uh, in this uh, paper with uh, uh, regard with which uh, which uh, actually starts graphin, and so basically it turns out that uh, uh, at some uh, when when the momentum transfer is small, the, the side jump is uh, is uh, approximately uh, given by uh, uh, omega cross delta k, where where delta k is the momentum transfer. And, uh, and omega is the barrier curvature. So, so, so basically, uh, when, when we have the side jump effect that's present here, there are there are, there are two modifications that you need to add to the Boltzmann equation. So the first thing is that uh, when 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 you when 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 a particle uh, uh, lives in some uh, external potential, say some temperature gradient or some. Also, 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 electric field. Then, when, 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 when the position of the particle gets uh, gets changed, it's, 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 its energy is a little different. So you, you need to account for that on the right hand side of the Boltzmann equation. And, and, and also because because uh, and, and also uh, associated with the, the side jump, there there there, there, there is a, there is a velocity of, 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 of these particles just because they are jumping. So on the but when you are calculating the current uh, from all, all of these particles, there's there's a new turn in the velocity, which is called the, the jumper velocity. So, so yeah, and so far the, the, this effect is not very well studied for phonons because uh, because it's, it's just a, it's hard to define what, what what do you mean by 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 a single jump of phonons because because phonons are are some uh, are some are some collective. Um, are 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 quantized uh, collected motions of, of the underlying lattices, and then there's there's no there isn't a very good picture of talking about that like there there's a single phonon sitting somewhere, so it's uh, hard to so so this uh, so this uh, problem is not settled for phonon yet, but we what, what I would say is just a uh, just 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 uh, comparing to similar stories for electrons and graphene. Uh, so what, what, what happens in graphene is that this, uh, the, the side jump contribution to this uh, this uh, whole transport is, is a scales as the same order as the as the as the intrinsic contribution, and 
And also the the the, the side jump contribution, uh, it, it, it doesn't depend on the strength of, of the of the scatterers, like uh, the strength of impurities or disorders. That's because like uh, in this calculation, there is a there is a disorder strength both in the numerator and the denominator, and it just uh, canceled out each other. Right. So, okay. So let me move on to uh, to the to the school scattering contribution. Uh, so right as I as I said earlier, so the school scattering actually means that this uh, the, 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 the the scattering rate may make this gamma L prime is not symmetric. And and uh, and to 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 calculate this uh, this non the, the school scattering rate, we just use the second order. Born's, uh, Born's approximation, uh, and then the, the leading order contribution uh, appears as second order, which uh, which uh, in, in, which uh, involves involves uh, uh, cubic power of the scattering of the scattering potential. Uh, the, the, the expression is like the following, and right and. Uh, before I talk about our model, we, I want to mention an earlier work uh, that's by 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 uh, by, uh, just, uh, by the uh, uh, Jing Chen, uh, Stephen Kilson, and uh, and Xiao Qisun. And so, in their model, they were consider this uh, also consider this bone of some whole vector, but they were consider this in a different context in the material called the called the the, 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 the STO. So in STO, it's uh, it's uh, it's verified that that. The, the school scattering actually, actually actually comes from the which comes from the 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 the, 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 the scattering at the boundary. So 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 in this work they, they proposed a, 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 a phenomenological uh, school scattering way, which is the following. It's a uh, uh, it's like a a or tau of, uh, of, of of the triple product of a uh, k and k prime and, and a very curvature. And and here tau is this is the the longitudinal uh, the, 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 the longitudinal relaxation time, uh, and that because they assume that the main scattering mechanisms due to 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 discovering at the boundaries, or uh, then the, then at low energy tau tau it goes like a constant, which is uh, independent of the momentum. And basically, their result is that the, the longitudinal conductivity is uh, uh, is a proportional to t to the d times the, the mean free plus l, and uh, uh, the sum of Hall conductivity is t to the d, d plus one times the the, the mean free plus l. So the the their their their, their result is a is a is a uh, their, their their result uh, uh, agrees with with the exper experimental data in the in STO. So the the, the t scaling agrees agrees and also the, the the magnitude in this STO is also also large because uh, because 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 the, the it's, it's proportional to the mean free pass. So, so here you just you can just assume that we, uh, so the so the, our second proposal for this mechanism is the same as as theirs work is like uh, uh, assume that you you the the, the, the sample can contain some purity but but uh, the density is low then the mean field pass can be large then therefore the 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 sum of factor can, can be enhanced. Um, actually, about this work by Jingyuan at all. Um... I thought, well, I vaguely remember that they also need some element of, uh, you know, some soft mode being close to some other soft boson mode. Uh, and yeah. that gives rise to the, some enhancement of the thermal hall conductor. Uh, yeah, they consider two cases. The first one is just um, acoustic phonos. Right. Because there is uh, some optical phonos, which are soft. Right. So, but but uh, I guess you don't have this soft mode ingredient in your theory, right? Yeah, so. yeah, we are not having any soft modes. Yeah, we're just considering the mm -hmm. autistic form. Right, but but I thought the, the the temperature scaling was somewhat somehow due to that was not was it not or maybe I was confused uh, or yeah, is it? I think, the, I think they contribute they, they calculate those contributions separately, and this is one for the ah. uh, autistic form. I see. Thank you. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. So, 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 so at the start of, of the second project, of well, what we had in mind was just, just to, to take the take the cube rate and then uh, take take those phonons and then and say that they 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 are scattered by some poor impurities and then let's see if we can and then and then do some uh, mesoscopic uh, 
uh, calculation of, of, of this phonon impurity problem. And I see if we, if we, if we can get, get gamma A like, like that. But then, yeah, and then, but then it turns out this story is uh, that there are some, some more, more subtlety in this story. Right, so let's talk about the, this, the, the, the situation that we, are, we have been looking at. So, right, so, uh, so we are informed by, by Louis Talibur that, 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 that their, their cuprate sample is a single crystal. So, so more likely the, 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 the scattery mechanism cannot, can, 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 cannot be the green boundaries. So, so we are we're just, just look, look, looking at the, the scattery by, by the point defects. So the, 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 the coupling between phonons is, uh, is the, it looks like the following. So here, the, 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 the impurities will just assume to be some randomly distributed uh, poor point impurities. And then the, and then the, the, the phonon, for, as, as for, the, as for the, the, the coupling to the phonon field, we will just write down some gradient, uh, gradient expansion as the following. So as you can see that uh, here, I, 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 I've written down the, the, the first two most, most relevant terms, which are, so these A terms and B terms. As it turned out, it, 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 uh, as it turned out due to some, some, some subtleties with the parity symmetry, uh, it turns out that we, 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 we need a both A and B to be non-zero to have the some Hall effect. Right, so, so right now we are we are assuming that, 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 that we are just looking at a, at a physics in the bulk. So uh, all, so from that there 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 will, there will be some other solids that will be that will be regulated by, by the boundary of the topology. So uh, right, just uh, let me first uh, say something about uh, the longitudinal somehow effect, which uh, which uh, which scales like like that. Because A, A and B are the are the are the are constants of phonons to the impurities, and here W is the, roughly the phonon was uh, the phonon velocity, and rho rho is the mass density of the crystal, and M I is the is the, the concentration of the of the, those impurities. So so the first the first uh, problem of this is that this cap X is is is, is uh, IR divergent uh, when T goes to zero. So 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 we have added a, a, a cut of delta by Han Qi. So 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 but but this is not something new. It is a it's a it's a it's a known issue that for for the for the for this problem of a phonon of phonon plus disorder. So to to regularize this problem, we will we will we will we will consider some some boundary scattering later. Um and in this physics here because we are. We are, we are, we are, we we have, uh, we have, uh, we have uh, two different uh, couplings A and B. So there, there, there is a emergent energy scale that is that that that's, that's related to disorders. So so when the so so there, there is a crossover scale that that's that's set by these couplings to 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 the impurities. Then basically when when you when when you when when when, when, when temperature. Uh, is higher than this two impurities, this capital uh, XX will, will saturate to a constant. Uh, but we are, we are assuming that the, the, the bi frequency is, is, uh, is very high, so the, the, the bi temperature is infinite. All right. Right, and here is our result for this uh, somewhat high effect uh, due, to, due to point effect scattering. So it's a uh, uh, so at a low temperature, the scaling is uh, is, a pro is proportional to A and B and eta, and uh, it's, pro it's inversely proportional to the concentration of the impurities. And then the scaling with temperature is, is, is T to the D plus two. So some features in our, in this result is the following: like uh, first, uh, it's it's uh, it, it's uh, inversely proportional to the to the impurity density. So that means that uh, when the sample is clean, there is an enhancement to the sample whole signal. And, and 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 second that the 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 the, the t scaling that, that we have is actually smaller than that this uh, that is result by Chen et al. The in their result is a t to the d plus one, but in our case it's t to the d plus two, which uh, which is actually related to this subtlety of the parity symmetry. Uh, that we'll talk about later. Uh, yeah, and uh, also this uh, the, the the fact that we needed two channels a and b are also related to parity symmetry. 
And also uh, uh, similar to the longitudinal uh, transport, there, there is also a, a, a saturation when you when when the temperature is above the impurity temperature scale. Right. Uh, let me uh, try to sketch uh, uh, why 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 the the, the, the Paris symmetry actually implies that we we need to, we need two scattering channels. So the, the proof is very sketchy. It's very it's kind of complicated. I'll try to sketch it. So so we can we can try to decompose the the, the collision uh, integral in the Boltzmann equation into, into the symmetric part and the anti-symmetric part. So the, the time was symmetry breaking is only in this uh, anti-symmetric part. Then this, uh, then the somehow effect can be written as some kind, kind of a uh, in, 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 uh, some kind of um, uh, matrix uh, element of 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 of, 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 that, that, of the of the operator i inverse, and then, and then you expand it to first order i a. The, the the leading contribution is the following term. So 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 then, then we can look at how 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 this uh, how this uh, uh, IA term comes comes about. It's it's, uh, it's it's roughly proportional to gamma a. Then gamma a is uh, is more or less uh, pro 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 proportional to, to 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 t square, where where t is the t is the t matrix in the in, in the Lindmann Schwinger equation, whereby by when you are solving the scattering problem of a single phonon. So so. So if you if, when we are scaring when we are scaring to this T matrix, then you 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 look at the contributions from from these these two different scattering channels. You can see that this uh, this A term has a uh, this A term has a uh, A term and, and B term they 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 have uh, they actually coupled to 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 particles of uh, opposite parity. So say so say that this uh, this A A term they 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 only couples to modes with even parity and this. B modes, they, they only they, this B coupling only couples to to modes uh, with uh, with odd parity. So, but then but then we know that the the the, 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 the velocity function here it has odd parity. So so you, you need an odd parity term here. Then then you then when you're scaring scaring this T matrix, you the, the only the only thing that has an odd parity is the is the, is the cross terms between A and B. So so that's why we we need a two 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 different scattering channels. Right, so uh, right, uh, we can also verify our formalism by by look by, by by numerically solving this uh the, the Boltzmann equation on some three D tetragonal crystal. So we can verify the the, the, the our 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 asymptotic uh, results here are, are actually correct. Example for the for this. Uh, for this uh, somehow effect, uh, we can verify that at uh, uh, low temperature, the, the scaling is like a t to the fifth. And right. Uh, and, and but then, uh, but then when when you when 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 we go to the higher temperatures, there there are some there, there are some non-universal features in this somehow effect that actually which actually depends on on the the strength of the lattice coupling and also and also the the, 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 the phonon band structure. For example, the cap. Uh, the cap x y can, can change sign at some higher temperatures. Um, how you? Uh, this is a reminder. We are at the one hour mark, so uh, um, I mean we can continue maybe for 10, uh, 10 minutes. Do, do you think yeah. that's enough for you? Or uh... right. Okay. So yeah, uh, yeah. Let me just uh, briefly talk about uh, the boundary scattering case. Mm -hmm. yeah. So. Right. So as we have seen earlier, that it's the uh, the, the theory in the box is uh, has has some problems. It's like uh, the the longitudinal connectivity is uh, is, 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 is so first the longitudinal connectivity is is, uh, is IR divergent, and second uh, in the in the QSM uh, theory, it's uh, it, they 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 consider boundary scattering. So you you might ask, uh, what 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 happens like in our case if you could consider some boundary scattering? Can can this uh, somehow effect uh, becomes larger? So, so here we are considering a computation of uh, or putting the system in some in some in some in some slab geometry, where where it's it's length is infinite but it it has some some width w, and then we just consider running the current in the, in the x direction. So yeah, this just can be treated by some well-known um, uh, theory called the the the, the Fuchs-Sonheimer theory, 
which has been well uh, been well established for electrons. So the outcome of this series is the following. So if you look at the, the, the now that the, the longitudinal connectivity is finite, it says in two dimensions, the scale of that T square and three dimensional will be T to the cube. And it's also proportional to widths of the of the of the sample and uh, the, 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 there's a log enhancement. So, so this is log enhancement is is, 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 is just, just due to the geometry of that problem. It's because the the, the, the leading contributions to this connectivity is is, is, is uh, actually due to the particles that they are that they are traveling that they, they, that that they, that is parallel to the boundary. But then but then but so so those particles has a has a very long lifetime. So they're they're there, there, there is a a a, 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 a divergent a lot of divergence in the mean free class. Uh, right, and then we can also similarly compute the 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 summer hall uh, effect uh, due, due, due to the boundary scattering. It it scales at some even higher powers at temperature, which is for our case is t to the a's, and then it's a uh, and then there is also a lot term t. So I think that the main thing to take away from this calculation is that the 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 the, the, the boundary that doesn't help the boundary re regulates the, the longitudinal connectivity, but it doesn't help with the with the whole connectivity. Right and uh, right. So as a summary, we just uh, we look at uh, the following problem with some um, this is a system of uh, of. Uh, uh, acoustic phonons plus uh, phonon hall viscosity plus some some, some pole impurities and uh, possible also plus some boundary scattering. So this problem is just some it, it's uh, it's uh, fundamentally just some some, some 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 harmonic oscillators. So we saw that the longitudinal thermal connectivity is actually controlled by the by the boundary scattering, and then the the, 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 the extrinsic thermal hall connectivity is, is, uh, is on the contrary controlled by, by the by the bulk impurity scattering. So it's enhanced by, 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 by the low impurity density. So it gets larger when you have a clean sample. But uh, but but however by, by the by the by the parity symmetry considerations the, the, the temperature scaling is, uh, is actually suppressed. And the, the, the boundary scattering that doesn't help with that. Hmm. So then, and then the and the and both connectivity is, it has uh, some, some High temperature saturation regime, which is actually controlled by by some by some non-renewals of physics, such as the the, the disorder couplings. Right. And uh, right. Also, and finally, I want to mention some uh, future directions that might that might be helpful. Uh, for example, in in, in, in the experiments in Lewis Halifax group, it, we didn't see any power loss, so. So we are not very sure, like what kind of. So we are we're doubting that maybe our uh, uh, this high temperature regime, then the, our theory actually can 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 explain the experiments. And also from 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 our uh, mesoscopic calculation, we didn't we didn't see that the, the screw scattering rate that, that's proposed in the work by Chen at all. So it still it still remains like how 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 do you how do you get this scattering rate from 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 the microscopics? Uh, because we know that works, uh, it matches the experiment with the uh, And also, we need to consider like what was the origin of this uh, hole viscosity? Because uh, right now we're just considering it's coupled to some spin liquids, but uh, spin liquids is also like a, it's also a two D physics. But the the but the 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 the, the, the experiment that, that that's observed that, that this effect uh, that's coupling to the magnetic field is more or less like a, a Zeeman field light instead the it's a linear in theory and it's more or less uh, uh, isotropic. So, so it also remains like a how how do you, uh, what kind of, what kind of, it's also possible that it's full that it's actually cut 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 uh, it actually actually couples on different systems and then it remains to see what, what what that could be. Yeah, thank you. All right. Uh, thank you, how are you for the wonderful talk. Um, actually, yeah. So we are open for questions. If you have questions, uh, you could just unmute yourself and ask.
Okay, I guess maybe we had too many questions during the, the talk already. So uh, yeah, all right, I see thumbs up for you. Good. Um, okay, maybe I'll just wait like a few more seconds for people to think about if they have any questions. Yeah, actually, this is maybe open ended, but um, I, since it just came to mind, um, I may just ask. So uh, I remember Leon and collaborators, Leon Balance and collaborators talk about how, you know, some of the some of the thermal Hall effect or just, you know, thermal transport for the spin is tricky when it comes to measurement, because one has to think about how did it equilibrate with phonons and do you think that could potentially be <laughs> something that um, may affect you know, the interpretation of these results because you explicitly integrate out the spin modes and presumably and right, think about how they... Uh, right, there, yeah, if you look at cup X, Y, then there will be some contribution from the electronic degrees of freedom. But if you look at kappa ZY, it should pretty be clean that it's just full. Right, yeah, I guess uh, maybe I'm not interpreting, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm interpreting this correctly, but it seems like the, the statement was that low temperature, the um, the relaxation between whatever that is thermal going on in the spins part of the system and the phonon part of the system does not happen so quickly. So, uh, well, I know this is sort of an open-ended question, but yeah, it, 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 that maybe can I say that their point is effectively that I it's not completely safe to just integrate out the spin part in some sense because the, the equilibration is very, happening very slow. Yeah, yeah, we are actually thinking about something similar, like, uh, uh, like the yeah, we are thinking about like the spin dynamics could somewhat be singular, so it's not safe to integrate them. Like that. I see. Okay, thanks. Right. Um, okay. If there are no more questions, let me uh, let me represent everybody to uh, thank uh, how you again uh, for the wonderful talk. And then uh, there'll be the end of today's general club. All right, I'll pause the recording.